Welcome to Fairfax, Oklahoma. This is a town that has had uh, some interesting history, some good, some not so good, and some well-known famous people. Let's check out Fairfax. As we start walking down through the downtown area of Fairfax, there is some red brick, uh, but it's not on the main strip. It's kind of down side streets a little bit. So kind of interesting setup, but uh, let's talk about Fairfax, Oklahoma a little bit. It is in Osage County, which is in the northern part of Oklahoma. Osage County is kind of an oddly shaped county, and it's the largest county by area in the entire state of Oklahoma. Osage County was actually created after Fairfax. Uh, the, the county was created in 1907 when the state of Oklahoma gained statehood. Fairfax was created in 1903 when the Santa Fe Railroad chose to go up the Salt Creek Valley. It bypassed the ghost town of Gray Horse, this is, which is a few miles away, and ended up going through this area. And in 1903, that's when the community started. People that lived over in Gray Horse, a lot of the merchants uh, moved their buildings and their businesses here to Fairfax at that time. One of the local merchants was Louis Wismeyer, and the railroad wanted to name the town Coda, C-O-D-A, but he didn't like that name as one of the community leaders, and he proposed to name it Fairfax after a hotel he had stayed in in Washington, D.C., and that's how the town got its name of Fairfax. The Osage owned the town site until 1905 when Congress sold the land at a public auction and the proceeds went to the tribe. Fairfax is the site of the majority of the 1920s Osage Indian murders. The murders occurred because of the discovery of oil that was found on Osage Nation Reservation, and at least 24 Osages were murdered. There was a book written called The Killers of the Flower Moon, written in 2017, about this historical event and how it led to the creation of the FBI. There are some notable people from Fairfax. Two of them are Maria and Marjorie Tallchief, who were world famous ballerinas. They were widely recognized as revolutionizing ballet in the United States. Also, football coach Larry Coker is from Fairfax. He was the head football coach at the University of Miami and led them to the 2001 National Championship. When the state of Oklahoma was established in 1907, Fairfax was said to have a population of 470, and it grew pretty quickly, especially when oil was discovered in this area, and peaked at 2,327 in 1940. After that oil boom declined, it's been a pretty steady decline in population to 1,136, which is just under half of what it used to be.
Step right up and get your tickets.